Hi there. Hi there. Hello. My name's Hedy. I'm the Big Cheese founder of travel gift card, mytab.co. We are a .co. We are not a .com. Remember that one. My friend Muppet, my best friend Muppet, who's sleeping. Framing examples for advertising. We're not talking about the actual board of the frame. We're talking about the glass half full, the glass half empty. One third of customers from using probiotics have stopped having yeast infection. Does that denote that two, two thirds of people do have yeast infection or potentially could? That's what framing is. You are, it's like, thank you for smoking. They spin on that movie. Really, really clever, but it was so conniving the way it was put together. I'm gonna to show you some examples now. Come with me. Okay, frame example. Know the facts about smoking or know the benefits of quitting smoking. One's talking about the facts and the other one's saying, but if you did smoke, so knowing the facts is like, well, the glass is half empty. Knowing the benefits of quitting smoking, the glass is half full because you can still benefit from stopping smoking now. See the difference? This is called framing. So you've got two different scenarios now. You've got 600 people in the Maha that get in the Mojave flu. 200 people in the town will be saved. That means that a third probably will be saved and two thirds probably will not be saved. Is that correct or is that not? Is it all predictable? Is it all speculation? And then you're talking about 70%, 72% of the subjects picked now reworded it and said in this survey that, well, there's a third probability that nobody will die. People see a film of a traffic accident. How fast were the cars going when they contact each other? Some people think contacted as in got together. Other people think it is hit, bumped, collide or smashed in the car. This is called unsettling aspects of framing effects to influence our memory. You usually will use a framing aspect when it's based on something that's negative and you want to turn it into a positive. Or you're trying to put the fear of God in people. The biggest thing with that, when they say, well, you know what, two, pe two thirds of people may die of lung cancer this year, the may and the can freaks me out. They never confirm anything. Two thirds of people may die from lung cancer if they get secondhand smoke. One third, what's going on with those? Will they be okay? Or one third will be completely saved as opposed to two thirds may die. Those are called framing elements in advertising. I think it's really conniving, but it makes you think because it's a psychological impact. You're able to put fear in you to make you stop or do something. My name's Hedy. I'm the big cheese founder of travel gift card, mytab.co.co, not .com. My little baby Muppet's here.